Fast riding, free wheeling, videos like this online are what draw hordes of people to experience rednecks with paychecks in real life. And last weekend, during their spring break event, Stephen Fairbairn there. Originally from England, he went for an American experience, driving from Oklahoma where he had a job and a new fiance. He proposed to Abby Green just two weeks ago. Before I told him, I said, I don't, I don't, of course I don't mind if you go, just, just be safe. His family says Stephen was riding on an ATV with his friend who remembers being hit by a white Dodge truck that drove on. Stephen was crushed, airlifted to JPS hospital with severe brain injuries. I remember just, you know, preparing for the worst, but hoping so bad that there was something they could do. He was kept on life support until his family could fly from England to say goodbye. He was just yes. 25. I became the most amazing young man anybody could ever have. WFAA has reported on multiple deaths at Rednecks with Paychecks in recent years, including a 10-year-old boy. The open drinking and driving, reckless behavior, and the waiver attendees have to sign. We're basically signing your life away. The Montague County Sheriff now investigating Stephen's death. His family wants to know who was involved in the accident. We need somebody to come forward and tell us what's happened because we really don't know. <laughs> It's going to be really hard, but... His fiance still wearing the ring Stephen picked with his mom. Yeah. <laughs> they say his organs were donated to five other people, and they're asking this wild event to change. I truly don't know how they can live with themselves putting that on every year, and I hope that... It's got to stop. It's, it's got to stop. It's, it is. In Fort Worth, I'm Bradley Blackburn. Bradley did reach out to Rednecks with Paychecks. He did get a hold of someone by phone, but that person told him to email the group, and so far we have not heard back.